my way to march and let the people know that we have people living with mo, no lights, no heat. Would you join us to march and let the people know that we need help, especially Bloomberg, the city. Join me and march. Well, I'm a part of the community and I'm actually working with Occupating Sandy and I'm here for a change. The purpose of today is to let everybody know, personally, Mayor Bloomberg, to know that we're not going to stand around and we're not going to do anything. We're going to march, we're going to say, we're going to yell, we're going to scream, whatever it takes for him to open up his door and get his behind out here and do something for the Rockaways, we're going to do it today. And everybody that's present here today um, is a show of that. Um, I'm here to make a stand for my community, just to show my support. Uh, you know, actions speak louder than words, and I'm tired of just talking. I'm, it's, I'm here to make a movement so that we'll have change in Far Rockway. I'm here to represent the community and make a change happen because Mayor Bloomberg is really not doing anything about it. I just wanted to help because I'm tired of sitting down, doing nothing. So every day I come downstairs and ready to help something ready to help with something, make a change, make it happen. Okay, first and foremost, I'd like to thank everyone that is here, that is tired of just using our mouths and actually gonna use our bodies to make a stand for what it is that we as Rockaway residents believe in. This is the story not getting told. Rapid repair, so clean up the mold. This is a story not getting told. Rapid repairs will clean up the mold. We have people that are sick from the mold that's in the houses. Um, we have people that are still without electricity, uh, housing, heat. Uh, we just need, we need help. We need someone to step in right now. Bloomberg, why are you chilling? You should be rebuilding. Bloomberg, why are you Mayor Bloomberg, he could get us the items, the things that we need in the community, but he's vetoing everything, and uh, it's not fair to Far Rockaway. In Manhattan, they fixed everything. Why can't they do it for Far Rockaway? All our area was destroyed, and they're doing everything outside of our area. They're not doing nothing for us. I mean, they're giving us flash, flashlights and, and candles and stuff. We was out of life for three weeks. I feel like they just forgot about us. They just went over Far Rockaway as a whole. Bloomberg, why are you chilling? You should be rebuilding! FEMA, why are you chilling? You should be rebuilding! People are getting tired about seeing FEMA and the, the, the mayor and the Red Cross pat themselves on the back while people here in the communities are still living without power and in mold. We applied for FEMA and, uh, you know, insurance companies and things like that. So far, a couple of us have been denied. Uh, there's no movement in anything. We haven't received any funds. And right now, I'm staying at a live ministry at 1050 Beach 21st Street, which is my home church. Thank God for somewhere that could keep us up right now. I've only lived in Rockway for five years. And I, in those five years, I've come to understand is that Rockway for such a long time has been marginalized and isolated, yeah. both physically and politically. Yeah. We've had hospitals closed. We've had school closings happen, at the basics, education, medical, everything you could think of. And it's about time that Rockway got some of the attention that, that it needed. And it's a damn shame that it took a tragedy and a disaster for it to happen. But it's the first time that I really see people coming together, both from outside and inside Rockway. So let's make it happen. Tell Mayor Bloomberg, let the money through. We are ready and we're coming for you. Tell Mayor Bloomberg, let the money through. We are ready and we're coming for you. I will tell Mayor Bloomberg to get his lazy butt up and do something about Far Rockaway before I kick his butt. So Mayor Bloomberg, wherever you at, get up. <laughs> right now. And come down to Far Rockaway. <laughs> Rockaway see you. Rockaway see you. Rockaway here. Rockaway here. Rockaway United. Rockaway United. We have no fear. We have no fear. We're done with the talking. We need the march. We need everyone to see that, you know, Rockaway should not be taken for granted. And we're serious about what it is we're doing. We want that change. And we want them to see that, you know, we have people with class, people of etiquette, people that have a brain and a mind and want a difference for the community, not just, you know, people living in the projects and, you know, just have us forgotten about. We're, we're bigger than that. And we want everyone to know that Rockaway will make a stand for what it is that we want. My neighbor got no heat. My neighbor got no light. Think about Far Rockaway. Think about Far Rockaway. Before you sleep tonight. Before you sleep tonight.
I started doing on my block because the government was nowhere around. I said, as I told the people in my community, we can't depend on the government. We have to depend on each other and we have to help each other. We can't depend on the government to do anything for us because they're not there. They're not there immediately when we need it at that moment in time. My landlord, in fact, has increased some of the people's rents by two to as much as $400. Mine was $300. That was my gift from my landlord because he didn't have flood insurance. And he wants us, the 26 tenants that live on Beach 11th Street, to pay for his damages. My friend Elvira, who's in a flooded bungalow covered with mold, was actually handed last week a letter that she had 42 days to move out. There are no plans to repair her place and she has nowhere to go. And who do we turn to for help? I send her to the restoration centers. I send her everywhere that I can possibly think of. I've gone, I've written to Mayor Bloomberg, Governor Cuomo, uh, Phil Goldfeder. I've called the Queens Legal Aid Society. I've called everybody for help and I'm not getting anywhere and I'm not getting any help. And the first person um, that I met in the Occupy Sandy group is Austin. And he has helped me immensely, just trying to hook me up with somebody that can help me out. Just let me know what the rules are, what the laws are, so that um, maybe we all don't have to leave our block. Because so far now, six people have left my block just because of the harassment of the landlord showing up their place of work, collecting the rent, um, and just the constant knocking on the door. Where's my money? Where's my money? So we need help. We need to get together as a community like we did today. Let's show them that we are here. We are human. We are people. We have feelings. We breathe the same air as they do. Yeah, right. Together we could do a lot. Yes. We can march these streets. Nobody can stop us. We are unstoppable. Like we said, we have no fear. Yes. So I hope that I'll see your faces here helping these neighbors, our neighbors, because we live in the same place and everybody's in the same situation. So let's get together and help each other out. This is the way how we're going to make Far Rockaway a better place. Let's rebuild! 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 Right Let's after rebuild. Sandy, we came to the house and, you know, basically the first floor, we got flooded, you know, we lost everything inside the house. And we were not worried at the beginning because, you know, we figured we have flood insurance. Uh, the problem is that the flood insurance is taking a long time to, you know, give us some money to start repairing the house. They say now that it's going to be by uh, mid of January when we uh, actually get money from them. And FEMA won't help us in that time because FEMA says that we do have flood insurance, so, you know, they cannot help us. They actually refer us to the Small Business Administration for a loan, but the Small Business Administration uh, rejected our, our petition for a loan, and they sent us back to FEMA. And uh, the problem is that the flood insurance is only, is only covers the structure of the house. It doesn't cover the contents. So actually, the flood insurance is not going to pay for all the furniture we lost, for all the beds, mattresses, uh, nothing that we lost inside the house. It's only going to pay to repair the house. You know, so between Sandy and middle of January is a long time, and, you know, we had to do something, and that's why the guys from Occupy Sandy came and gave us a hand, you know, doing uh, the demolition of the house, you know, trying to create a safe environment inside, free of mold.